I didn't think of myself as black when I was in Nigeria. I didn't need to. So we identify on the basis of ethnicity and religion, but not race, because we don't need to. And I think it would be different if I were from South Africa, maybe even Kenya, but Nigeria, no. And, and when I went to the US, it was a very strange thing because it's one thing to know intellectually that there's race in America and I had seen roots and that sort of thing. But it's quite another to, to sit in a class and the professor comes in and he has a pile of papers. It's the first essay we've written for the class. And he says, um, this is the best essay and I want to know who wrote it. And he calls my name and I raised my hand and on his face, I saw surprise. And it was a very small fleeting moment, but it was a moment where I realized that for him, it was surprising that a black person had written the best essay. Why? Wait, because it was the best or what was the subject? No, it didn't matter what the subject was. The point was it was the best essay in class. And America is a world in which black people don't do the best things. Black people are not expected to do the best things. And in the, in the few cases when they do, it's a, it's a thing of surprise. Yeah. And I think when you're a child, just imagine, and I remember finding it quite silly because I'd come from Nigeria and I thought, you know, surely he knows Nigerians are all brilliant.